going on? How y'all doing? So Shannon Sharp emerged and said he will be back on a morning show. I'm not surprised. He wouldn't left, but nobody wants to work for the Klan. Black man feel like he getting lynched already, and then he got to work with Skip Bayless. That's like a burning in your face. I mean, come on now. And see, the thing is, Skip was too dumb to understand he had the gravy train. He had a black man who was willing to be humble and to play off of him, and he didn't use it to his advantage. He tried that old, well, you need me more than I need you. When in reality, they both need each other and they both benefit each other. You know, Shannon used Skip as a jump off because I said the shock jock and the cat that had the broadcasting chops and you could talk, debate, and y'all could feed off of each other. Also, you know, you know how stereotypes with jocks, but you got to remember Skip ain't realized the one his antagonist that he's against, Charles Barkley, flipped the script for the former athlete turned sports analyst because that's what people geared towards. Charles set the wave and Shannon took it to another level. Shannon really did open up another light. And he needed a black perspective, a cat from down the South who could actually speak on some stuff because Shannon did. On certain episodes, they really did went there. But see, Skip never got the, he, his light bulb ain't that day. And see, he thinks like a white dude, middle, middle road white dude who thinks like you, because white privilege will have you blind to saying any old kind of idiotic thing until it slaps you in your face. And believe me, Fox got millions of dollars. They're like, they got to find somebody black right about now. If a brother got a halfway decent post, and they can't just have this any brother. It's got to be someone who's dynamic, charismatic, articulate, certain age range. However, got to be opinionated. Who can we find? That's going to be a tough come because Shannon Sharp really fit. They was yin and yang. And Skip messed it up. That's what Shannon basically saying when he says he's getting back to the morning. You don't think that man don't want to open his mouth and yip, yap, yap, yap. But he can't work for no massa. You can't sit up there and work for David Duke like, sorry, it's not cool. And see, Skip Bayless, thing about it is being in white world, no one ever comes at him with that. But when he emerged against a cat that halfway came at him with some some logic and he uh, emasculated him and he and, and Shannon be reading them threads, he read them leaves. So you can't be a black man and I understand how, especially in this day and time, skip no too. He you know, went too far. So, yeah, Shannon will be back. Will he be with Stephen A. Smith? I hope not. That would that would be too much. But I do think he will definitely find him a voice in a place that, you know, I like his club Shay Shay. I think that's cool because he actually is articulating some interesting takes. And I'm going to talk about some of the things he talks about on there. But uh, no, he ain't slurping LeBron and some of them other things. But Skip's lost. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share of it if you're liking them out.